first we have a piece of cardboard. We have the ruler. Get your pencil and we mark out eight centimeters by putting two dots. And then we mark out 10 centimeters. So the walls are going to be eight centimeters by 10. We do the same for the top. Mark out another 10 centimeters. And then we measure the side to make sure it's right as eight centimeters. So we get all equal sides. And then we draw our, our rectangle for a wall. We will then cut out our rectangle and repeat this four times. I am using the other rectangle to make three other rectangles the same size. This is an easy way of measuring the rectangles out so they all equal the same size. And there we go, we have four rectangles equal the same size. And these are going to be used for the walls and the floor of the model. So what we are going to do next is make two opposite walls that are a different size. These are going to be 8 centimeters by 8 centimeters. And we only need two because we are going to make a 3D model of a rectangle. This is going to be the base of the house model. So what we are going to do next is get a small piece of cardboard and we're going to cut it down to size to match the size of that cardboard. We will then fold the cardboard over. This is going to join the two walls together of the rectangle. And the way we're going to join the two walls of the rectangle is using PVA glue. We are going to take the PVA glue and we are going to stick both pieces of cardboard together. Make sure you use quite a bit of PVA glue. We now repeat this three more times on the same piece of cardboard. We repeat the process over and over again on each and every panel so we can build the box model together slowly. You will also need to leave time for the glue to dry. Now we are going to do the panels for the roof. These are going to be 8 centimeters by 10 centimeters. So we do like we did before, mark out the points or just draw around the shape. We then cut the panels out for the roof. So what I need to do now is make a piece of cardboard to connect the two panels together. I use one panel to get the right measurement. I then cut out the piece of cardboard and connect it to each panel by using PVA glue. While I leave that to dry, I move back to the base. I then add sellotape to the base to give it more support in certain areas. Now to finish the base off, we add the roof and the floor we use PVA glue to stick these together. Before adding the last panel, I filled the model with paper to give it a little bit of weight. Now I am going to show you how to build the roof of the house. So now I am using the part of the roof I have already built to measure out the sides for the roof.
I mark out the point where I think the middle of the roof is. Now I will join up all the markers to make a triangular shape. I then add another centimetre to the triangle shape. This will allow the triangle shape to stick to the roof. I then cut the triangle shape out. I then take the scissors and score along the lines, this will make the extended bits more flexible to fold over. To make a match inside, we do the same again, but we use the other side as a template, so we get equal sides. So now I am going to stick the side panels to the roof panels. I do this by using sellotape and then glue after. Now we are going to add detail to the roof. I am going to make a piece of card which is going to be the same length of the roof. If you notice on a roof in real life it has a top piece and then you have the slates underneath. So this is what I am going to create. I make a shape 2 cm in width and 10 cm in length. This is to go across the top of the roof. This will be folded in half and glued to the top of the roof. I then cut this out and then I fold it over and then it is ready for sticking onto the roof. Now to do the roof tiles. So I have cut out some 1cm by 1cm pieces of cardboard. 
Then what I am going to do is glue across the cardboard and then we're just going to keep placing the one centimetre pieces of cardboard nice and neat and then the second row you want to have it to, so it overlaps so it looks like a real roof. And there we have it, the finished roof. Now we are going to make the windows. I did these two centimeters by two centimeters, and we're going to put windows on both sides. So we need four squares. But all I am going to do with these is just glue them on. As you can see on my house, I have also added a door on the side and a little porch. You can add anything you like, it is your house. And then now all we have to do is decorate it. It can be any colour, anything you want, it is your house. So next I'm going to paint the windows. Um, I've decided to do this blue because I think it's the closest colour to real life because you can't get the exact clear colour so I think blue is a perfect or near colour to use you could also add a bit of white to create a like a tint effect if you wanted to but I'm just going to keep it blue So I have decided to use watercolours and for the roof I am using black so it looks like a slate effect, it's not totally black, it's like watered down so you get that special effect of as if it's been worn out like the slates on a roof. Right, 
right so that's the roof and the windows done and I've also done the porch the same colour as the roof now we are going to do the main body of the house and I'm going to do this a terracotta colour which is red and orange mixed together And for the final piece of decoration to my model, I have put some parsley on the sides to make it look like vines growing up the side of the building. I've also added parsley to the roof to make it look like moss on the slates. And there we have our finished model, please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more crafting videos and I'd like to just say thank you for watching and see you next time.